In this lesson, you will learn what significant figures are and how to determine the number of significant figures in a measurement. Please have your note sheet handy and complete it as you go through the video. Here's the definition of significant figures. When you are looking at the numbers in a measurement, significant figures are the numbers that have actually been measured, and that would include your estimated digit. So you might be thinking, well, what kind of numbers wouldn't be measured? And that would usually apply to uh, zeros that are just holding place value. In fact, the rules for determining significant figures uh, used to look like this. And most of them were about zeros in determining if they were significant or not. Are they holding place or were they actually measured or estimated digits? But luckily, you do not have to learn all of these rules. Here is the rule that we are going to use to determine the number of significant figures in a measurement. It might sound a little funny, but once I'm done explaining, hopefully it will make sense. The rule is dot right and if not left. It's actually two rules in one. Dot right refers to if the measurement has a decimal point. Then we will count to the right. We're going to start counting at the first non-zero number, so any number other than zero. And once we start counting, we're not going to stop counting until we run out of digits in the measurement. So in 1.230 nanometers, we have a decimal point, so we're going to count to the right, meaning we're going to start on the left and work our way to the right. So the number one is a non-zero number. That will be our first significant figure. The two will be our second, the three will be our third, and the zero will be our fourth. So this measurement has four significant figures or four sig figs for short. In the measurement 0 0.0023 grams, it has a decimal point, so we're going to start on the left and work our way to the right, dot right, but the first zero, or the first number is a zero, and so we're going to skip that. We're going to skip the second zero and the third zero as well. We start counting at the first non-zero number, which is the number two. And then there's a three. And so that's going to be two sig figs. In 123.401, we have a decimal point. We're going to start on the left, work our way to the right. The first number is a non-zero number. This measurement has six significant figures. And finally, we have 10 degrees Celsius, 10 with a decimal point. And the reason that it's there is so that that zero is significant. And this measurement has two significant figures. If not left is the second part of the rule. This would be for measurements that don't have decimal points. Usually we would like our measurements to have decimal place values, but just in case, uh, we can cover all the bases here. Um, with no decimal point, we're going to count to the left. So if not left, if no decimal point, count to the left. We're still going to start counting at the first non-zero number, and once we start counting, we won't stop until we run out of numbers. Now with this measurement 5,000 liters, we have no decimal point, and so we're going to count to the left. The first number is a zero, the second number is a zero, and the third number is a zero. So we're going to skip all those. That leaves the five, and that's one significant figure. In 14,000, uh, you'll see something that looks a little curious. There's a, a bar over one of the zeros. And there's still no decimal point, so we're still going to count to the left. But that bar is going to make that zero significant, meaning it was measured. The zero in the ones place and the zero in the tens place were not measured. They are just holding place. But that zero, because it's got that line over it, means that it's significant. 
and we have three significant figures in this measurement. Now don't get carried away with that bar over the zero. Uh, we never use that in decimal place values. In 114,210 kilograms, no decimal point, count to the left. And the first number is a zero, so we're going to skip it. We've got five significant figures. And then finally, in 101 milliliters, no decimal point, count to the left. One, two, three. So three sig figs. Please take a few minutes to determine the number of significant figures in each of the following measurements. Pause the video now and then come back and check your answers. In 0 0.090 centiliters, we have a decimal point, so we're going to count to the right. The first two digits are zeros, so we're going to skip those. And then we've got a 9 and a 0, so that's two significant figures. If you think about this measurement, it is so small that we don't have any tenths. So that 0 is just holding place to push the 9 and the 0 out into the proper place value. Um, 6,150, no decimal point, so we count to the left, if not left. This one has three significant figures. 900.0 meters has a decimal point, dot right. Four significant figures. 0 0.009, decimal point, count to the right. One significant figure. So only one measured digit but it's a, a pretty good digit to have measured, the thousandths place. 0 0.90, decimal point, count to the right. Two significant figures. 0.0. Think about the significance of that zero without it. Only one significant figure, and you're saying that you only measure to the tenths place as opposed to the hundredth place in point nine zero. Six million seven hundred thousand, no decimal point, so we're going to count to the left. And normally we would skip all those zeros, but um, that bar is making the hundreds place significant. So that's where we'll start counting. That will have five significant figures. And finally, 54,000 decimeters, no decimal point, count to the left. None of those zeros have been marked significant, so we skip all of those and two significant figures. Measurements like these are very poor. Those zeros are just holding place, so our measuring instrument was not able to measure the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place. Our measuring instrument only started measuring at the thousands place, and that's our estimated digit in this measurement. So this isn't a very good measurement at all, and not a very precise measuring tool was used. So hopefully now you know what significant figures are, and how to determine the number of significant figures in a measurement. If not, please go back and rewatch this video.